Hi, this is Risa and welcome back to my kit review series. If you've wanted to start stump work, then boy do I have the kit for you. In this video, I'm going to review Lorna Bateman's stump work sampler kit, which you can buy in her shop on Etsy, the link for which I've provided below. But before I start, don't forget to click the subscribe and notification buttons to support my channel. Right, so let's begin. So the stump work kit arrived in this gorgeous paper bag. I just love receiving Lorna Bateman's kits. So let me take it out, put this aside and see what we have here. I love opening kits, don't you? Um, love taking out all of the knickknacks that are part of the kit. So Lorna Bateman's kits are one of the best, I must say. So here's a nice picture of what the stump work embroidery is going to look like. We have a nice sample of different stitches that you can learn. Here are all of the instructions that she normally adds to her kit. So let's see what they are. So she also calls it the Dragonfly Wreath Kit. In her shop, it's called the Stump Work Sample Kit, but it's one and the same thing. So the first set of instructions essentially list all of the items in the kit and the stitches that I will be using. The second is a stitch glossary. And the third is a little bit more instructions on stump work in particular. Let's look at these set of instructions a little bit more closely. You can see there are a set of pictures, instructions on how to carry out the French knotted slip, how to attach a wire, and how to embroider the oak leaves uh, with step-by-step -step instructions here and some ribbon embroidery in case you want to embellish the kit that you receive. I'm definitely going to keep these instructions on stump work for future reference in case I design something with stump work. Now here's the picture again. We're going to do some beadwork, needle lace, leaves, wings of the dragonfly, the butterfly here on the right, etc. So a whole bunch of different techniques. Now the kit also includes gorgeous fabric, really good quality sort of linen cotton blend and some backing fabric. It also has, as you can see, the pattern screen printed on it and another piece of cloth or fabric for the other items that we will be stitching in the kit. Now, let me just put that away. Next in the kit, are all of the gorgeous floss that she includes. Let me pull those out. You can see a lot of nice shades of green and pink chameleon floss. There's also some brown in there. So Lorna loves including chameleon in her kits. Now the next packet looks like we have some organza ribbons. If I can find the opening, here we have it. Let me take out what's inside. Now, let's see. Okay, we have some wire, both white and green wire. They're very fine and can be bent really easily. So these will be used for the leaves and for the wings. And here are the gorgeous organza ribbons that we will use for the wings. Now included here is some tracing paper, bonda web and some freezer paper and a small piece of felt that I will show you how to use in my stitch along. So don't forget to watch that in my channel. The third packet has a bunch of beads there for the raspberries or strawberries, um, the grapes and the acorns. And finally, the last packet includes a set of needles, which I will go over during my stitch along video and some metallic thread, beading thread and some floss. So that's what's in the kit. Absolutely gorgeous. I can't wait to show you the stitch along video that's on my channel. And here is another quick peek at 
the Fold Stump Work Kit by Lorna Bateman and a sneak preview of the Stitch Along video that you can watch by clicking on the link above. Thank you for watching this kit review. I hope it was useful. Don't forget to like, subscribe and notify yourself for future videos that I will be uploading. And don't forget also to share. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.